good lightweight clash between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Well, this man was born a fighter, Joe Rogan. Here is Dustin Poirier, the longtime American top team staple, coming up on 20 UFC fights. Realized so much success at featherweight that he stayed at 145 pounds, but he's realized even more success since moving up a division to 155. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters 29 years of age. McGregor will have a two inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now he's losing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, the Stand the Diamond And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. The referee for this one is Mario hey, Yamasaki. You ready? You ready? We are yeah. underway. So here is Conor McGregor. Oh! oh, he's bouncing here. Left hand lands flush over the top. Poirier gets absolutely pelted by that man. KO for the victory early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check it out here. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop this contest at 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout! The notorious Conor McGregor! Well,
Well, we're getting used to saying it. Conor McGregor, your winner yet again as he continues what has been one of the most remarkable legacies in UFC history. And when the lights are at their brightest, as they were here tonight, the notorious Conor McGregor seems to come through.